Tea, with its enchanted fragrance, is an essential part of our daily life. Over thousands of years, Chinese tea culture has become a form of art and philosophy of life. From tea plantation, production, to studying the varieties of tea leaves, the different ways of preparation. The usage of teaware, appreciation, collection and manufacturing of teaware, each aspect requires extensive expertise to master. Dr. K.S. Lowe started from collecting teaware as a hobby to becoming a connoisseur. His tea journey has been fascinating. Let's begin and find out how Dr. Lowe's tea story intertwines with the museum. Every collector's dream is to have a museum or a place where they can preserve their beloved collection. In 1978, the British forces in Hong Kong handed over the Victoria Barracks, including the official residence of the Commander-in-Chief to the Hong Kong government. This building of Greek Revival style is a declared monument in Hong Kong, which was constructed between 1844 to 1846. It was built to be the office and residence of the commander of the British forces in Hong Kong and was formerly known as the Headquarter House or Flagstaff House. The building was completed in May 1846 and became the residence of the first commander, Major General G.C. Dagula. The last commander to reside here was Major General Redgrave. Flagstaff House had undergone several large-scale reconstructions over the past century. In April 1981, the Hong Kong government accepted Dr. Lo's suggestion to convert Flagstaff House into the Museum of Teaware. The first step of the reconstruction was to remove the original covered porch in order to meet the needs of the museum construction. The secretary's office was converted into a reception. The design of the staircase next to the main entrance was rebuilt to resemble mid-19th century style. Living room and library were converted into Gallery 1 and Gallery 2. Dining room was converted into Gallery 9. The commander's office was converted into Gallery 3. First floor was once where all the bedrooms were located and it is now converted into Gallery 4 to 8. Look at this fireplace. What you can see today is not much different from when it was first built. When you visit the museum, do look out for the clues from the old days. In January 1984, Flagstaff House Museum of Teaware was officially opened, making it another museum in Hong Kong, which was converted from an historical building. Today, the surroundings of Flagstaff House Museum of Teaware have become part of Hong Kong Park, located in a landscape garden surrounded by skyscrapers in the bustling city, making it even more distinctive from other historical buildings. As a branch of the Hong Kong Museum of Art, Flagstaff House Museum of Teaware collects, researches and exhibits cultural relics and materials related to teaware. On the ground floor is a permanent exhibition which introduces the history of Chinese tea drinking and features various kinds of teaware from Western Zhou Dynasty to the 20th century. T 
tea ware from the Qing dynasty to the 20th century are displayed in gallery number three, many of which are rare and valuable artifacts. In 1994, Dr. Lo donated another 25 pieces of Chinese ceramics and over 600 pieces of seals. In order to properly preserve and display these precious cultural relics, the Hong Kong government built a new wing next to Flagstaff House Museum of Teaware named as the K.S. Lo Gallery. The K.S. Lo Gallery was officially opened to the public in December 1995. Its exhibition features rare Chinese ceramics, generously donated by the K.S. Lo Foundation, dating back to Song, Yun and Ming dynasties, and selected seals dated from the late Ming dynasty to the 20th century. Flagstaff House Museum of Teaware has always been committed to promoting Chinese tea culture and regularly holds special exhibitions such as Gems of Yixing Teaware from the Nanjing Museums and From Soya Bean Milk to Pu Er Tea etc. are well received by the public. Flagstaff House Museum of Teaware also extended its exhibitions to the Hong Kong International Airport. These exhibitions introduced different tea drinking methods from Tang Dynasty to modern times, the history of Chinese tea trade and works by Hong Kong potters. Collections of Flagstaff House Museum of Teaware have also been exhibited in overseas museums, for example, the United States, Canada and Belgium, promoting Chinese tea culture to the world. Since 1986, the museum has hosted competitions of teaware by Hong Kong potters and has been widely supported by local potters. Many of the entries are diverse and illustrate the creativity of today's young generation of potters. Apart from organizing exhibitions and competitions, the museum also provides various types of education and extension activities, including special lectures, outreach programs, music and tea gathering, tea demonstrations, guided tours, etc. By doing so, people from all walks of life in the society can have the opportunity to appreciate the joy of tea tasting and enrich their understanding of Chinese tea culture. Nowadays, different private tea houses, associations and organizations are established in Hong Kong to exchange knowledge of tea drinking through activities, social gathering and the collecting of teaware has become a trend. This phenomenon has gained its popularity and even attracting young people to tea drinking culture. Flagstaff House Museum of Teaware will continue its mission to play a proactive role in promoting Chinese tea culture. <laughs>